welcome to a life full of meaning my name's lisa and this is glenn and together we sold our house we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on to a narrow boat called nutshell which we have sold and we also bought a static caravan for the holidays for the children and us and we are just about to move in to a little house for their next adventures and journeys indeed uh excuse this bit of hair that's just yeah. sticking up there we haven't actually got all the things we, required we, on the boat we're thin on the ground yeah the boat is looking pretty empty now mm. so without further ado let us show you how the week unfolded good morning and welcome to saturday mr warner's just splitting some logs out there so excuse the banging today we're on a mission we need to get to cosgrove and we're going out later this afternoon and this evening so not only do we need to get to cosgrove we need to get there in good time to be able to shower change and and go out we're going to do it a little bit differently today i'm going to take the car and I'm going to drive to our destination and then I'm going to walk back, hopefully meet Mr. Warner at some point. So that's what we're doing straight after Mr. Warner has finished splitting these logs. <laughs> Nicely done, Mr. Warner. I kept filming there, hoping that I'd get a falling in shot. This is holding the boat. See you in a bit. Yeah, in a bit. Right, let's go get the car. See you later. So we're just coming up to our old marina. Let's see how all the building work's gone on. That's where Liam and Mel used to be moored. So there's the old marina. Oh, they've got a proper shed now. I thought they were going to let all that, but the, the electro spots there. The trouble with this time of year, there's lots of stuff in the canal, um, so you end up getting stuff around your prop which slows down your progress. This is where I was aiming for but now we're going to go past that on our way to Cosgrove. So just over there just behind where that black car is was where I was chopping, you can just see the post in the distance, that's where I was chopping that post down the other day just over there. Milton Keynes itself is pretty slow going because there's so many moored boats because obviously so many people want to be in the town it's tick over pretty much all the way there's a couple of spots where you can get your foot down a little bit but uh, yeah most of the time it's tick over only this is warner's favorite bridge with the art last time to go through in nutshell more and more boats it's going to go past pennyland and houses with moorings it's got a lovely little bridge i cycled over it the other day i was knackered though i couldn't spend much time looking at it and there's the houses through there with the moorings not many boats in there, there's quite a few around the back. Well, this isn't what I had planned for today. Oh my goodness, what should have taken 15 minutes max, took nearly an hour. Time for a stroll down the canal, let's go find Mr Warner. Through the horse tunnel. And here we are. This is Lionheart Bike Club. It's a nice little marina actually, wouldn't mind if we had a little boat, wouldn't mind more in it here if we could get this um, holiday boats only. Yeah, it'd be nice to try and find a boat that would fit in here. Just on the run up to Gifford Park, uh, I'm not going to stop there because I've got all the facilities at Cosgrove. So even though we need to empty cassettes and stuff, uh, we'll do that when we get to Cosgrove. Oh, how wonderful was that? I was walking along looking at the boats, come across one, I was like, that's Julianne's boat. Just popped in and said hello to Julianne and the boys. Now I'm cracking on. Just about to walk over the Iron Trunk Aqueduct. We've been over this on the boat loads of times. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever walked it. Feels even stranger walking than it does on the boat. A couple just walked the other way. The man gave me a big smile and he said, we agree, be kind. I've got my be kind on today. I've never noticed one on the network before. So that's really interesting an actual proper sailing boat on the Grand Union Canal that's uh, very interesting right behind us is I think it's called Manor Park and that building's owned by the Parks Trust and they've just reinstated a pond that was there years ago see the pond there a red red wine so hello to you 
Look at that fence made out of all the different coloured bottles. It looks so cool. I'm expecting to see Miss Orna very soon. Just about to walk over the second aqueduct of the day. We'll be coming up to a bridge soon, which is a bit of my, I think it's the words nemesis. Basically, we've been through it a few times. Very narrow, it's a very old bridge, and it's caught me out a few times, especially in high winds. Nine times out of 10, someone coming the other way. The wind just whips across these fields, it's very open and it just catches you out tight and you could get two boats through it but it's just the corner that it's on and the wind that you get with it and it's not usually the front end that catches it's the back end see there's a boat just the other side so but i think i'm going to be all right oh, i spy mr warner all right mr warner's saying he's cold he wants a cup of tea kettle on doesn't seem two minutes ago that i walked over this Mr. Warner's hungry. I'm going to make him a fish finger sandwich. I love a fish finger sandwich. Oh, they look like beauts. They smell good too. Now that is a thing of beauty. Would you believe it? I think there's a boat coming through the lock. Haven't seen any boats all day. That'll be perfect. It means we can go straight in. Warner doing the lock at Cosgrove. Luckily enough, someone was just coming out, which makes life a lot easier. Doesn't happen very often this time of year, but it means that we've, uh, yeah, all good. So, yeah, last lock of the day. Well, the only lock of the day, actually, and it's, uh, it only, only goes up about. I think it's about four foot or something, four or five foot. It's not really, it's not a really big one. But anyway, let's get through it. So we're at the little house. We've come here to get ready. I've put the washing machine on. Oh yeah, washing Glenn's work clothes ready for next week. Glenn is putting the shower curtain up up in the bathroom, and we're both going to have a shower and get ready from here to go out for dinner. Oh, no. That's a, that's, a, that's a robot wheel. Glenn's found a robot wheel in the in the undergrowth. Are you all right, Jill? Are you all right, Glenn? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello. So I just got this gorgeous poinsettia from from Deb's shop. For Carol so looking forward to this meal this has been in the diary for months months apparently Stephen is a wonderful cook and I think he's cooking beef wellington but I'm not having beef I'm having salmon so I'm, I'm very excited anyway so we just arrived and oh boy this is looking so lovely balsamic vinaigrette nice some bread. bread and some Thai pickles these taste delicious yeah, absolutely right. tasty right to go it yeah. smells so good in here these beef wellington are these two beef that's two beef that's a salmon and that's salmon look at them they look and smell amazing and look at that that's that's what you call a pan of gravy spot on and even got me own gravy <laughs> look at that uno flip express how do we say it you don't know. No. Where did Where did you get it from? <coughs> Aldi. Uno on one side, and yeah. then you can flip the card over and play a completely different game. Look, look at these instructions. No. Well, <laughs> Uno Flip Express has got some. Has got some rules. <laughs> look at that. Two sides of the deck of cards: a light side and a dark side. The dark side has different action cards with much stiffer penalties. Oh, 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 oh. We've just got back to Cosgrove. Oh, what a lovely evening we have had. What an amazing meal that Stephen cooked us. Delicious. Anyway, we're back to Cosgrove now. Glenn's got his torch, fortunately, but we've got to go under the horse tunnel back to the boat. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Sun 
Sunday. Oh, Saturday today. No, no, yeah. Mr. Warner, it is Sunday. Where are we off to today? Stoke Brewing. And mm -hmm. we're going to do the locks, I think, today as well. If we have time. That is the plan. So we are going bowling later with Miramar and Liam and the boys and Charlie and Carolyn. Two and, birthdays. Yeah, yeah celebrating yeah. two birthdays. Not one, but two. Anyway. Before we go bowling, we need to move the boat. We need to get closer to the bottom of the Buckby flight where we are meeting Nutshell's new owners. So I'm going to take the car, going to park it at the top of Stoke Bruin and then walk back down. Mr. Warner setting off. It's got a cold wind today. I'll be all right walking, but on the back of the boat, it's going to be chilly. Got my phone, camera and key. It's all I need. Let's go find the car. My little smart car. Last time through the Cosgrove Bridge and nutshell for us. Love that bridge, very pretty. Well, short uneventful journey here, but the pub that we were gonna park in, that we always park in, has put up new barriers. So I can't park. I'm in the Canal and River Trust car park and I've got a hope that the machine takes card because I haven't got any cash. Result, it does. Not so good. Not got my card with me. I can't believe that worked. I used Apple Pay on my phone and it didn't say that Apple Pay was accepted. Anyway, I've got a ticket. All that drama sorted. Let's start the long walk to meet Mr. Warner. The locks are busy already. There's one boat coming down. I've done up the navigation at Stoke Bruin. We're going to be coming back here in a couple of weeks. In fact, two weeks, two weeks today. It's a boat vlogger's Christmas party. So excited. I think we've got seven locks to do today in total. Not too bad. It doesn't take too long. Just gone past my favourite uh, boat painter and repairer, Baxter's boat, and they, they do diesel and all. They've got a little chandlery there as well, so worth a stop. Last time, Nutshell will be going past. Um, we were considering them painting Nutshell actually, but uh, obviously, we've decided to sell her, in, sell her this time. Maybe on the next boat, we'll see. I don't know if you can make it out, but basically, there's a few houses on the horizon. That's Grafton Regis, which is Warner, just the other side of that. So we should catch up with her soon. Oh, yikes. Can I get round it? Oh, man. Oh, bloody hell. Ha! Ah, I did it. Oh, quite proud of myself there. Right, on we go. She got quite a headwind, so I'm not making much progress. I'm sort of getting along, but the wind's quite strong today. It's not, I mean, it's not mad strong. I'll, I'll, I'm not not worried about it, but it's just right on the front of the boat. It's quite slow going, and I think I have just spotted Mrs. Warner in the very, very distance. Fancy seeing you here. Seems like ages. Warner dropping me off. The boat just come out so it should be all in our favour. Here comes Mr Warner. There was a boat behind us but we can't see them at all. We've waited for a bit. We're gonna go. We can always wait for them at the next lock if they appear. They should all be in our favour. Right, almost full. Lock one done. I don't know what happened to the boat that was behind us. It's still on about to push off from the front. There's two boats coming down. They're in, not the next lock, but the lock after that. It's so windy. This is our penultimate lock and the wind seems to have dropped as well. Last but one lock done. I'm gonna go and walk up to the last one. I think it's in our favour. So we've moored up at Stoke Brewing. That was a workout, that was. We're here overnight, but we've got to go out in a couple of hours. We've run a little bit late. Oh, it's so cold outside. Hey, here they are. Hello, 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 darling. Glenn. Glenn is 
just there. We got the gang back together. Have you been putting money in the machines? Yes. Yes, and you're a winner. I am. I've got bad news we'll for you. A hundred tickets. How many tickets you got? You've got, you've got about, you've got, yeah, you need to try harder. Yeah. So the goal is, we're going to win Miramar some more tickets. Okay, what you got to do? A game of skill? Oh. Oh. Glenn, what does this mean? Ten tickets. Ten tickets? It's been three Oh, look, you're winning now. Winning. What are you getting to win? You're getting points. Points make prizes. 259. Oh look, Miramar's going to go straight down the middle. <laughs> go Lisa. Go Lisa, let's have a look. Okay, she's got a second chance. Come on Lisa, you can do this. Do you not want to try the orange ball? No. I'm going to She's going with... I'll go with this one. It's perfect. And go. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, that's not bad. Only two pins left. It's all very tense. Good morning and welcome to Monday. Beautiful, cold, but blue sky sort of day. Oh, it's gorgeous and out the, there. And the wind's dropped as well. Yeah. It was a bit windy yesterday. I'm aiming for Buck... No, not Buck. No. Weedon. No. No, I'm not going for Weedon. I'm going for um, Bugbrook. Bugbrook. Bugbrook um, for tonight, which is not far away. It's about three hours. So, I mean, you know, I could make Weedon, but I just... Yeah, let's not push it. No, we, we don't need to push it. We've got plenty of time. And then tomorrow we're going to move on to Weedon. And then the final Saturday... Nate, wait for the new owners for Sunday morning mm -hmm. and take them through the Buckby flight and then and then say goodbye to Nutshell. Yeah, hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves, it's only Monday. So, Mr. Warner is solo cruising today. I am gonna go to the little house and um, talk do, some more stuff, right? yeah, end up back at Bugbrook. That's the plan, that's the way it's, it's supposed to go rolling. today. That's how we're um, rolling today. <clears throat> Anyway, let's crack on. I forgot to mention, it's our eldest grandson's 11th birthday today. So if you're watching, happy birthday, Ryan. Got the Christmas tree, gonna need that soon. Right, while I'm here, I'm gonna do some video editing. I might even make myself a cup of tea. Got no milk, maybe a black coffee. 2,800 meters on my own today, no Mrs. Warner. Let's go for it. Never tell. We're at the top right at the end there, whether that's the end or another boat coming. We'll find out as we get through. The acoustics are very different at different areas in the tunnel. For some reason, you get a different sound from the exhaust bouncing off the side in in various different beats. It's just the makeup of the side. Some of it's brickwork. Some of it's concrete and it just makes a massive, massive difference to the sound. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going mad. I'm just cruising through decent speed, just over walking speed, I would say. I could go faster in here, but to be honest with you, no rush today, really. Try and keep to the center unless something's coming. Here we go, just about to come out of the tunnel into the bright blue sun. Well, that's that done. Last trip through there with nutshell. And the eyes are just getting used to it. Anyway, let's crack on. Just around the corner is Blissworth Marina and the Northampton Arm. Won't be going down there today. We've done that flight a lot of times when we were down in Northampton, up and down, up and down. But uh, now we're just going to sail past. No locks. We've got no locks left at all now. No tunnels. Let's call it like an open road all the way to Wilton. It is a very sunny day. It's not freezing. It's not, I mean, obviously, because I'm sitting still, you feel cold. But to be honest with you, when the sun hits you, it's really nice. Um, nice day out here. And I couldn't have think of a better day to cruise. There's no wind, so it's all good. 
it's all good. Mrs. Warner's at the little house, she's going to pick me up. I reckon I'll be about another hour before I get where I want to be. Um, so not much cruising today and then weeding tomorrow. The one thing I did say I'm going to miss, you wake up in the morning and it's very quiet and you can sort of drop off back to sleep, nothing really going on. Uh, the difference is going to be living where we're going to be living for a year is um, there's going to be everyone going to work in their cars and there's going to be cars going past. It's just going to be noisy. So we'll have to see how long I can put up with that. I think the year 18 months is probably going to be my limit to be honest with you because I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it being quiet. I'm actually going to clear this little spot and bring the Christmas tree in. So I just got to find a spot for those plants. Now if you've been watching for years you'll remember when I bought this Christmas tree and it was like that high. It was like a small twig. That was when we first moved onto the boat so four years ago I've nurtured it. It's, it lives outside during the summer and then comes in. Just looked, Glen is not actually far from Bugbrook. Sat nav says Bugbrook's 21 minutes drive away. It's one of those places from Northampton, I think it's five minutes. Classic case of uh, underestimating the time required to travel there. Anyway, let's go see if we can find Mr. Warner. Right, I'm here at the wharf, gonna walk down the canal and see if I can find Glen. Oh, I recognise that boat coming along. It's Nutshell. That was good timing. Here's Mr. Warner. I hope it's not too cold being standing on the back. Who's this stranger coming down here? Mrs. Warner, what's she doing here? She's not meant to be here yet. I was just thinking about her. A bit strange. There she is. You alright? Mr. Warner coming in to moor. I'm going to make Mr. Warner a hot chocolate. That'll warm him up. Here we go, Mr. Warner. Okie doke, so we've had some hot chocolate and uh, now we're off, we're off in the car, there's a couple of bits we need to get, we're going to go to Dunelm, yeah like a trip round Dunelm, need some new lampshades, that's what we need. Oh it's certainly very busy, let's go, this is going to be interesting getting all this in the smart car, let's try and fit this in are already quite full boot. It's lucky Mr. Warner's good at packing on that. Look, we could even go back and try and find a lampshade. Pick up some kindling. Kindling, kindling. Coffee logs. <laughs> I can't believe you fit in more stuff. The day's cracking on nicely. So we filled the car up with stuff. Now we're going to head to the office. Got an order that needs to be dispatched. And the office is around the corner from Naomi's. So we're going to pop in and see Ryan, giving him his birthday card. Hello, hello. Hi. Is this the birthday house? Let me have a look. Oh, is that cobblers? Yeah. Oh, give us a 12. Give us a 12. And I heard you got some tickets as well. Yes. Yes, excellent. Gorgeous. <laughs> like it my darling we're just leaving ryan i'm going to be back here thursday picking him up to take him out for his birthday and we're now heading to the little house to drop all this stuff off absolutely beautiful sky this evening mr warner so we're leaving the little house now back to the boat i think we may stop at the pub to get something to eat good morning good morning and welcome to tuesday yeah i had to think about what day it was i am in the car and i'm off to weedon glenn's leaving in the boat then i'm gonna walk back it's chilly one today yeah very cold out there so we're off leaving bog book to go to weedon it's not far probably a couple of hours if that mrs warner's taken the car already yeah it's a bit chilly this morning sun's bright today that didn't take long to get here i think it's going to take a tad longer to walk back right let's get going my watch is just uh buzzed i've had a look it's a weather warning for saturday extreme winds we're supposed to be moving from weedon to wilton 
on Saturday. So when we stop, I'm going to have to have a closer look at that weather warning and let Mr. Warner know. And we might need to revise our plans. What a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. In the summer when we came down here, this was chock-a-block. As quiet as anything now. I've just spotted Mrs. Warner. That didn't take her long. She's just round this corner. Nutshell looks a beautiful sight in this sunlight coming around the corner. It's going to just stop in to fill up with some water. Whenever I see the no mooring sign, I always think back to Mia in the summer when she thought that sign said no hats. On. I've got to say, that's a pretty good looking cup of tea. And some biscuits as well. Life is good. 11.58 and we're all moored up for the day. That wasn't a bad morning's cruise. We've got to nip back to Northampton to pick up Glenn's car so he can get to work tomorrow. Because I'm also picking Leo up and going to my mum's. While we're at the little house, we'll have a shower and do a bit more unpacking. I did want to stop, get some more storage boxes. B and M. That's a lovely Christmas tree, isn't it? Like that one. Now these are really pretty, aren't they? This shop's actually quite impressive. So we had a very successful shop at B and M. I bought these little baskets to go in the larder. Yeah, they'll be very useful. And I bought these storage boxes for upstairs in the wardrobe. And don't stop there. Oh no! Bought a couple of bedside lights. These were five pound each. And these little baskets for the bathroom. I think they're a fiver. So very happy with that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's go for the big switch on. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's the wrong one. Yay! That's all right, isn't it? We don't know. One does in here. The other is not for the outside light, but we don't know what it does. Glenn still hasn't worked out how no, to how to program this. It's a tad good. complicated. Right, everything's coming together. Lovely. I've got the knitted nativity here. Now, I'm generally not putting up the Christmas decorations yet, but because I bought the tree in yesterday and because I don't want to put the Christmas decorations away to pull them out in a couple of weeks' time, I must admit, normally, I am the person who decorates the Christmas tree like six days before Christmas. So, anyway, I'm going to get the knitted nativity out. Here we go. Oh, look. I love it. It really is one of my most treasured possessions. My mum's friend Ivy made this for me. And sadly, she's no longer here. Well, you never guess what's just happened. I was in the shower. Glenn shouts up. Have you ordered anything from Amazon? I was like, no. I barely know the address here. Amazon, man just left two parcels on our doorstep and the thing is it's such a fluke we were here now where can i put you can you still see me over there barely barely anyway mr and mrs warner there's so few people know this address what is it it's a little box my heart melts lavender how lovely let's have a look. Happy housewarming to help you relax and rest in your beautiful new home. Lots of love, Deb, Steve, Glenn and Tinker from Deb and Steve Arnold. Oh, Deb, thank you so much. Have a look at this. Oh, that is just beautiful. I, I'm not sure you you can see that from there. It has got love hearts. Let me, in fact, let me come and show you. Let me. Uh, I don't Look. Think this one will work. Can you see? <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And that sits on there. And you put the melty thing on top. Of oh, it. that is just bloody lovely. Thank you so much, Deb and Steve. That is beautiful and has made my day. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. 
So I've just nipped down to my new place of work. Oh yes I have. I need to do a right to work check. So I need to take my passport and fill in some forms. Yes, yeah, very exciting. So that was quick and easy. They've just taken my details. I had to take my picture out to sign to say it was me. All the right to work stuff done. There's such a lovely team in there. It's going to be a couple of weeks before I start, but yeah, well excited. Just walking back to the boat now. So we're back at the boat, we've just had some dinner and guess what? It's not just Bake Off tonight, it's Bake Off final. Oh yes it is. A great night of TV viewing lined up. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. I'm here at Weedon, Glenn's gone off to work and I'm just leaving here. I'm going into Northampton to be at the little house for a, a bit today. Number one, we have the meaningful midweek conversation with Paul and Maxine and then I'm picking Leo up and taking him to see my mum. So yeah, nice day. It's like a nice day out. Weather, grey. Yeah, the gorgeous sunshine and blue sky from yesterday disappeared woken up to a gray november morning anyway come on let's go let's get to the little house this trip to the house is quite a landmark trip yeah i've just realized something this is the first time that i'm going to the house without a carload of stuff to unpack i've literally just got my handbag and my computer bag that means everything that we need right now is at the house we got a robot on the move Getting some speed up. Let's pop in and see Deb. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. Sorry, it's actually afternoon now, but I just wanted to give you an idea how many times I have to go to the tip. Every other day, at least, with this amount of rubbish. Because people just throw it away, discard it, side of the road, bushes, trees. I don't get it. I'm going to take it to the tip now and I'll catch you in a bit. I'm here. It's called Feel New. Hmm, interesting. I've been super productive this morning. I've sorted out loads upstairs. I've emptied untold bags. Haven't actually got places to put all the stuff yet, but well, one step at a time. So I've just made myself another cup of tea. I'm going to sit down and speak to Paula Maxine. Righty righty, I'm leaving the house now gonna stop at the shop get glenn something for dinner then i'm on my way to pick up leo and we're gonna head to my mum's so i've picked leo up it's cold out there isn't it yes. where are we off to now nan <laughs> we're going to nan so that's me done for the day today yeah just had to go and get a key cut do some litter picking again but nothing nothing major exciting all done dusted easy day really so got these books for my mum these are from deb in wales who we went and met the other week my mum's gonna love these hello got some books for you from wow. deb from wales oh, that looks i thought you'd like that one have you read that one no no none of them none of them oh that's good that's yeah, good really so mum has bought stamps and written all their Christmas cards. That's good going, that is. Well done. All ready to post next week. All ready to post next week. Uh, I found our Christmas cards while I was unpacking today, so I'm, I'm feeling quite ahead of the game. Not quite like Mum. Mum's also done, what, 90% of your Christmas mm, shopping? 97%. 97% of her Christmas shopping. Once we're in the house, I'm gonna go full on Christmas. So me and Leo, we're gonna walk around to the chip shop. Mum wants chicken and chips. Leo wants halloumi and chips. And I'm gonna have senior citizens fish and chips. Oh, someone's been smelling good in there. Anyway, let's go to chip shop. So I'm just back to the boat. I don't know if you remember back in a video or ages ago. We've got a thing called a wet box down the back, which is where the shower feeds into. And I took a video of this, the little micro switch that was um, made by Johnson had gone faulty. So I set up a um, temporary normal float, you know, float that goes up and down. But it wasn't ideal because you couldn't get the filter in properly. So I ordered one from America. It's the only place I could get older one. It works by water joining the two dots together and then it triggers it and it and it turns on and when it gets to a certain level it then drains out the back so i'm just rewiring that and putting that back in i'll take you down the back but it is noisy because i've got the engine running 
and this is the little bit I've just changed, this little black bit, I've just got to do the wiring and plug all the water back on and then that should be good to go. Right, see you next week. we'll see you next week and uh, thanks for dinner. Right. Yeah, right. thanks for dinner, All right. Better get Leo home now. Oh, just dropped Leo off at home. The traffic is diabolical. So now I've got to get back through the traffic to get to Whedon to get back to Mr. Warner. Boy, that was a traffic nightmare. Anyway, I'm near the boat now. I've got to walk up the dark, dark steps and along the dark, dark towpath to find the boat. I, I haven't got a torch with me. That was foolish. It's so dark, I can't even see the bloody steps. Up we go. I can just see Nutshell down there in the distance. Good morning, good morning and welcome to Thursday. Glenn's gone off to work. I'm off to the little house later. Oh, we got a treat. Oh, we got, I'm looking forward to later. We are taking Ryan out to celebrate his birthday, which was at the beginning of the week. And I've got a right treat for him. So I'm very excited. I'll take you along too. Hello and welcome to Thursday. I'm at work what more can be said i'm only doing half day tomorrow because i want to get the boat moved to wilton tomorrow i want to have a quick recce before i go as well to make sure there's room up there i have arrived do you know what i love coming in here i love it i can't wait till we're in here next week i've got loads of admin to do that's going to be dull so i'm going to crack on with that do a bit more unpacking and i'll catch you later to say happy thanksgiving if you're celebrating thanksgiving i hope you have a wonderful day i found a box of christmas stuff i'm going to decorate the tree oh we've got a bauble down it's all going horribly wrong i didn't realize this pot had a hole in and i've been pouring water in and it's been coming out the bottom well, it seems like everything i've touched today has gone wrong uh, i'm gonna leave that to dry i've mopped it all up i've decorated the tree to be honest, you can't get the full beauty of it until it's lit. Right, I'm off to get Leo, then we're off to get Ryan, and then we're off for a very exciting meal out. We got Ryan, we got Pappy, we got Leo, let's go. Are you ready for this? This is very funky, isn't it? Is this a green? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. We've ordered our food. Glenn doesn't believe that robots are actually going to deliver it. Oh look, it's just an emoji robot. Yeah. Oh my god. Please take it carefully off the train. That's cool. There's another robot coming. Here we go. It is good to meet you. Goodbye, thank you. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Sparky the Robot. I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you for coming to see us. Look what's coming. <laughs> That be you then. Happy birthday. Little one there. No, 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 I didn't notice it until now. This one's from a really old movie, that one. Oh, this is a big one. Pappy's gone back to the boat. We're going to go go and check out the uh, Christmas decorations. Let's go and have a look. You give like a million down. Yeah, you spend like four million. Oh, but here it is. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Pappy may have gone home, but we've come to get dessert. So me and Leah are going to share that and Ryan is going for the great Knickerbocker glory. Just Darling, like that's nearly as big as your head. Oh, what a lovely evening that was. I've dropped the boys off. I've come to Debbie's. Glenn's gone back to the boat because I'm picking Leo up from school tomorrow. So it made sense for me to stay in Northampton. Anyway, I'm at Deb's now. I'm going to have a cup of tea and catch up with Deb and then I'm going to go bed. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Friday. It's a miserable day outside. It's about 20 past seven in the morning. I've just looked out the window. I'm not quite sure what's gone on. All the hire boats are completely blocking the canal down there. They must be, they must be moving them. They obviously needed to get a boat out or something. There's just two across the canal and the workshop's open. Yeah, the backs are open so I presume that'll be gone later. These stairs are a bit ropey. The weather is pretty awful today, but I need to uh, crack on. Okay, oh, what a wet day. Good morning and welcome to Friday. We love a Friday. Today, what is going on? Well, Mr. Warner is taking the afternoon off to move Nutshell. So the weather forecast still says strong winds tomorrow. He is moving from Weedon to Wilton where we're going to wait at the bottom of the Buckby flight for Nutshell's new owners. Today I'm picking up Leo from school which is why I stayed in Northampton really because it just made sense rather than running backwards and forwards. I'm leaving now to go to the little house just do some more sorting and stuff before I get to the little house though, I'm going to go and buy a clothes area. Yeah, some way, somehow, to dry clothes. It's got a washing machine, no tumble dryer. Today, it's that magical mix. Yeah, rain and sunshine. Yeah, we know what that means. Saw a beautiful rainbow on the way here. Anyway, no time to just enjoy the rainbows. Let's go get a clothes area. So that's the clothes era purchase that job ticked off now to the little house the weather it, you, you can feel the wind picking up so hopefully glenn will get moved today without too much drama right i'm in at the little house washing on clothes era bought today's tea selection turmeric gold plans are changing oh yes they are i've just had a message from beth she don't need me to pick leo up this afternoon so i'm going to jump in the car head back to the boat and then i can join mr warner on our final journey from weedon to wilton let's hope i can get to mr warner before he moves the boat and that shell's still here right let's get a fire going on it's pouring with rain yes it is the wind isn't strong yet it's going to get stronger throughout the night i've just been back to the car i remembered we had two coats in there one is like a gray outdoor coat i've just given that to glenn it's waterproof i'm in this not waterproof but i did find a brolly in the car as well i think i'm gonna to have to leave you in here because rain and cameras oh, it's never a good mix and windy weather too anyway we're gonna get on our way and we'll catch up with you in a bit lots of rain now right well that was an invigorating cruise weedon to wilton done and we've just moored in front of ian who we know from northampton we are going to nip over to wilton marina they've got a cafe there we've got like very little food on board so we're going to go and see if we can grab something to eat now you ready mr warner Let's do it. at least it stopped raining so we nipped into the cafe at Wilton Marina. Oh, we had a lovely meal. We had some scampi and chips. It was delish. Uh, got some cake to take back with me. We're on a big cleaning mission. Yeah, we're going to clean Nutshell from front to back. Ready to meet our new owners on Sunday. Well, another hectic week. Hectic. It felt calmer. That's what this did week it? felt like. Yeah, it did feel calmer. Good news this week. Obviously, got, I got my job. I'm well excited about that. Sorry about the comments. I haven't, because I've been so busy sort of this week, and I haven't got around to doing the comments. So I'll try and get back to last week's comments. It was a bit. It was a hefty week last week. Apologies for any comments left unanswered. Yeah. We will get round there. I mean, next week we're in the house. I've said to Lisa, do yeah. not make any arrangements no to, no you know, plans until friday no plans yeah, next because week we've we... got to get it sorted out and yeah because we've got guests coming to stay next week i'm going to stop chatting now because like we've got to get all this stuff into the car and to the little house so we will see you next week see you later bye thanks for watching bye